All right, welcome back. So last time we just found this small general store down in dungeon level 14. I think I picked up a couple things here. Let's take a look at our inventory. Um, do a little bit of inventory management before we get started again. So a small amount of money. I think that might be all that I've left. Our primary weapon is a thong club, probably plus zero, which is not great but I have uh, really good armor with a plus four pair of hard shoes and a plus four small shield, which I found on the ground, which is great. Elba Mithril, etc. Looks like I have a couple of rings I've not yet um, ID'd. At least I haven't uh, BUC tested them. Um, potion of healing, just in case I need, need to heal myself quickly. I could definitely sell that empty wand of slow monsters. No, don't need to hang on to that. I have a wand of polymorph, which might be interesting or useful uh, for polypiling. Looks like cancellation's empty as well, so both of those can be just dropped here and sold. Uh, Uncursed luckstone. I don't think I have holy water yet. In fact, it looks like I have a, a sack and no bag of holdings, so I probably have a bunch of stuff stashed back at Sokoban. Take a look in our sack. Yeah, so I just picked up this um, 300 base cost scroll, uh, another scroll of ID, and um, another un unidentified scroll. I have an extra potion of healing in my bag. Let's go ahead and sell a couple things here. Um, there are a couple of wands here that are empty that I'm not going to bother recharging. I mean, cancellation might honestly be worth recharging. Um, it's also kind of a liability. I think I will just sell it though. All right, so throw those away and uh, put my money away. And uh, we'll just keep exploring. I'll throw my towel on here for a second. Um, I don't see anything. Pretty sure I do have telepathy. So I think there was a broad pick further back. So one option here is to just take the five AC hit, go down to negative seven, and and just uh, trade up for a, a broad pick, uh, Dwarvish Matic, which is gonna be a much more effective weapon than the Thong Club, even at uh, my skilled, I think I'm skilled in club, yeah. Basic a pickaxe. I'll have to think about that. I, I um. I think it might be worthwhile just to trade up for better damage. Do a little bit of searching here. No, nothing is over there. I, I definitely have telepathy. So that is good in combination with my blindfold or towel rather. I'll finish exploring this floor. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep, I'll, I'll just descend until I get, I hit something that's dangerous. Uh, if I need to, I'm feeling underpowered and I'll come back and go a different direction. Down to level 15. Sorry, I have a ESP, a helm of ESP, which is really nice. So there's a wear rat, I believe, on this floor. Um, not a huge deal. I do have a sprig of wolf's bane if I absolutely need it. And I have a lantern, a brass lantern. So my... I do have uh, poison resistance uh, and sleep resistance, so that's good. This homunculus uh, shouldn't be such a big deal. My strength is nine because it took a lot of damage. Eating poisonous corpses. Uh, I have an uncursed uh, unicorn horn, so that will cure my stun, but it's going to take some time. Just looking at the overview, there was a cross-aligned altar in... The temple, must be another cross line temple down level nine. So I just haven't um, found an altar that I can convert yet. So that would really open up a lot for me. Uh, quantum mechanic, is it an owlbear? It is. Uh, I think I'd take an owlbear at this point. Decent AC. Uh, well, we'll soften it up though.
I right, killed that owlbear. I'll, I'll eat it a little bit. Uh, just watch out here for that. Right, ice Vortex. I don't think I have cold resistance, right? I do not. Um, let me throw this. I don't know if that... I think they have a passive attack. I'm not sure. Uh, ice Vortex still... Yeah, destroyed. Oh, just what I was looking for. Uh, there's a neutral altar right here. So that's great. Um, let's PC test some of this stuff here. Just throw these rings on. All right, so we have invisibility. That's actually not bad. And plus three gain strength. That might actually be better right now. Uh, plus two gain constitution and plus three gain strength together. Are really going to help me with encumbrance. I think I'll leave those two on for now. Um, anything else? Yeah, this stuff here. Curse scroll. Okay. So I need to get some holy water. I might just head back to my stash and grab um, some potions to turn into water and come back. Just put my head down here for a second. There's a fountain here. And there are a couple of wraiths. Um, so this, that's a graveyard. Probably zombies and other things there, which I can't see. Let me just annotate that. So I think I want to wait till I get to XP level 12 before I bother with those wraiths. I, um, it's very possible to get to, to XP level 12 just by killing things, but getting from 12 to 14 is much harder. So it's, I prefer to save my wraith corpses and potential wraith corpses until I get to XP level 12. So we will. The other thing is um, just sack, sacking on this altar and getting a decent um, artifact weapon. I think that is definitely worth it. I can maintain my AC by getting something like Frostbrand um, and do start doing some decent damage. That is a vampire bat. Uh, be a little careful. They can do quite a bit of damage. Oh, oh it is actually a vampire. Um, let's see. I think it's faster than me. No, it's not. So I can actually kite it a little bit. Nice. All right. So we don't lose our uh, XP there. Untrap. I'll loot that. Oh, nice. More scrolls. And it's that curse, so we won't we won't read it. Hey, Craig. Uh, thanks. It's 37 months, so over, uh, over three years. I think that it, it lines up with the first net hackathon, is my guess. Um, hope you're doing well. Have a good night. I'm assuming you're headed off to bed, hopefully. Yeah, I, I'm going to try not to throw this run. I think it's going pretty well, actually. At this point, I just need a decent weapon. Killed that quantum mechanic. Uh, speaking of which, let's not get turned to stone here. Although I do have two lizard corpses, so at least I'm in better shape than I was the last uh, archaeologist that I turned to stone. I could potentially get some some resistances from this gelatinous cube. Let's eat it. Where it's worth the damage. Uh, nothing. All right, so this looks pretty well explored. Um, oh, uh, those are elves, elf lords. That could be nasty. Definitely having four of those. Um, do quite a bit of damage. Let's go back to my stash. I have uh, plenty of food, so I think I can waste the Nutrition. Uh, just so we can make sure we can, we can make some holy water. Drop some stuff off. Maybe take some stuff back that I do want to bless right away. 
Oh, I put a stash here. Okay. I want to carry that down with me. Even if it makes me, uh... Even if it makes me burdened, I do want to take this stuff back up with me. Let's kill this python first. All right, and I'll pick all this stuff up. And it's going to burden me. Um, let's put all this stuff away. Leave the healing potion out. So we'll just be burdened until I get uh, back up to Sokoban. Uh, hopefully, that'll be such a big deal. I can always throw my bag down. Let's turn off that lamp. I'm wasting charges. All right, so we have uh, uh, soldier ants here. I, I'm, I have poison resistance, so I'm actually not too worried about it. I will drop my bag before I fight it. Oh, and there's the, um, I forgot about this. There's a rust monster here. And I was not able to cancel it, I don't think. Don't have a scare tool. I could Elbereth. Um, let's get to the stairs here. All right, so I didn't make it. Um, what I can do is I can take off. Actually, what I'll do is I won't annotate this level. I'll climb up and I'm going to annotate this level and say rust monster down so I can remember to take off my metal armor and just go down and, and punch it to death. Alright, we're gonna keep going. This kitten. Uh sadly not worth taming. Alright, uh gigantic general store here. I guess I don't really have enough gold to be messing with it. But, um... Hmm. What was that? What was in here? There was, um... It's an unidentified scroll. I don't know why... Why did I run out of that? Was it a... Was there, like, a... Giant mimic or something? I kind of forget. There's also a clear potion, which I'm interested in. Um... What I'll do is I will drop a bunch of stuff here. I'm actually going to head over to the store and just see what I'm missing there. I may have been going a little fast and just uh, didn't fully explore it. I can use my touchstone too. I think it's in my stash. So I'm going to leave a stash here and then we'll go up to the store and just check it out. Peaceful house cat, okay. All right, um, yeah, there's no mimics in here. Uh, the clear potion is just, is just water, but it's worth 10 gold to buy it, I think. Um, oil or acid, I don't think I care enough to pay 375 for it. All right, so this one, is base cost 300. We definitely want that. We have quite enough gold for it. Uh, but what I can do is I can actually... I should have taken those uh, spell books with me, to be honest. Because I could have uh, sold them. Assuming that they're not that interesting. I don't have much to sell. I think I just went by it because I was out of money. Um, it's buying protection. And there's all the gems I sold it sold to the shopkeeper. Uh, Smoky is paralysis. All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep keep moving here. Uh, we don't really have enough gold. All right, I can pay for this clear potion anyway. Just go back here. Pick up all this junk.
Spotted jellies are nasty. Don't want to mess with them. There's an oil lamp there too, which is kind of interesting. Um, that must be a temple, right? That's a temple. It must be cross-aligned. Um, <laughs> my ears are being a fight without my eyes about the game you're playing here. Hey, unit. Welcome. Uh, is the music too loud? I figured Spelunky was appropriate for a archaeologist. Um, and I was going to do the Indiana Jones soundtrack, but I, that would definitely get my my YouTube content uh, muted. Copyright claimed. Now, where's the Sokoban stairs? Seven. Good morning, unit. Hope you're doing well. Wednesday morning. These means. Okay. There's a wire rat there. Okay, nice. Uh, auto pickup off. All right, I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff here. In fact, I'm just going to do the drop everything. Uh, pick pick stuff up, which which I care about. So I can sort of think about it. So I'll take the gold with me. Um, that can go in my bag. Amulet is interesting. I might... Um, oh, my, I'm wearing reflection, so I'm not going to replace that for a while anyway, so the broad pick can stay. So I'm going I'm to use my, uh, I need my thong club, clearly. Uh, shield, cloak invisibility, those I don't need. I'll take the food and the wolf's bane and the tripe ration and uh, take at least one lizard corpse. Sort of interested in the scrolls of ID. I just need to get some holy water and I'll come back to my stash and start dealing with this stuff. Um, so I'll take with the one clear potion. I'll take the 50. Um, I'll actually dilute the healing as well. Sleeping. Cost 100 can be diluted. Um, I guess I'll dilute the milky as well. I can price ID it. That should give me enough to make holy water. I'll leave all these rings. I'll take digging for escape. I could bring the magic missile to, to sell. Um, so I've had polymorph as a way to deal with tough monsters. Uh, I'll, take all the, I'll take all these wands. I'm going to leave the pickaxe for now. I might regret that, but it's a little bit heavy. I'll take the rest of this stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take one of the two luck stones, and I'll take these two unident unidentified gems as well. Yeah, so I am burdened. Let's apply the touchstone. All right, so we found obsidian and garnet. bunch of stuff here. Drop the touchstone. I'm not sure I'm able to get unburdened here with all these potions, unfortunately. I could drop a few food rations. Make sure I wield my club. Let's take a look at what I'm leaving behind. There are scrolls of teleportation. Taking one of those might not be the worst idea as an escape item. I could price ID the spell books, but um but they're very heavy.
So I could drop a few food rations, although if I'm altar camping, it'd be nice to have them. Those books belong in a museum. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna bring bring a bunch of artifacts to the British Museum. Take, that's uh, that's what I do. Um, I guess we drop a few potions. Okay, so three food rations gets me unencumbered. Um, that's probably fine. I don't think I want to dilly dally more than that. I can sell those uh, stones on the way down by that uh, base cost 300 scroll while we're at it. Alright, so let's go uh, get an artifact weapon and we'll get some holy water and and then I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Alright, so I can just go straight down. Uh, I'm wielding my club. I always think I'm punching things because of how little damage I actually do. Okay, uh, I gotta remember to utilize fountains when I find them. I could go back and use a level one and level two fountains just because I'm much more likely to get get um, wishes at level one or level two that would be probably prudent a wish would be pretty good I probably would just get a bag of holding to be honest at this point because um, I already have reflection and Uh, that will definitely rust my weapon. Uh, I'll just probably just let it come out of that doorway and run around it. Not so slow. All right, there it goes. Uh, we're going to go around it. Yeah, utilize all the fountains we have. Uh, have killed the. Wand of cancellation I had, so I'm gonna need multiple fountains. The earlier ones feel feel better. All right, so there's that one fountain. What an interesting dungeon level one. The big uh, fog cloud room. All right, so we will start to dilute stuff. I think I'll start with these cost 50 potions. So that's it for the, that fountain. All right, there's another one on this level. Some killer bees. Now we're burdened. My curiosity, if I bring all this stuff out... Oh, yeah, I was able to, to learn that that was an uncursed potion of healing, so I can dip both. Do I actually have a stash here? Uh, yeah, I do. I have a tinning kit and my bull whip. I'm kind of interested in the tinning kit. I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll grab all this stuff. I'll put it in my, in my uh, Sokoban stash. On the way back. Two fountains on level four. Um, what else would be diluting here? These ones, I guess. Can 
go and eat this. Um, so we'll dilute the milky potions. I can actually drop a bunch of the water. At my stash and just bring back one holy water to uh, convert them with. So I'm not burdened the whole time I'm messing around with. Is this peaceful? No. Kitty, you gotta sit down. Sorry. All right, we'll use the Oracle Fountains while we're here. Although it looks like I already got rid of a bunch of them. There's two pools of water. There's one fountain left. Uh, Paralisk. Could use the fire resistance. Must be a secret door around here somewhere. I put my towel on. Yeah, so I did find the secret door. I didn't drop a corpse. There's one more fountain here. I guess I can uh, dilute this portion of sleeping. Um, yeah, plane center. I think I can take, even though I'm burdened. Probably should drop the bag, but we're okay. Bunch of junk here. Oops. Right. Um, blessed potion of healing. Um, I think we'll delete that too. It's not the best escape item. All right, so we're done. We can just go back. Oh, is there a wraith here? There is a wraith here. So that's three. Found two in a graveyard. Further down. Sorry about bumping that. So. Oh, I think I missed the entrance to Sokoban. Yeah, it's seven. I want to stop by there. I might have to. Oh, it's a Mumak. I was thinking it's a Roth. A Rothe. It's a wrong, uh, wrong everything. Um. Yes, yeah, so we need to back off. Deal with this from range. I do actually have Swan to Slow Monster, so let's uh, zap these. All right, kill the Mumak. I guess we're going to kill this Wraith too, although I kind of would have wanted to save it. Um, we'll eat it. All right, we're up to XP level 11. Remove that annotation. The other thing I can do is uh, dig around for vaults. Okay, here we go. Auto pick up off. And we will again drop a bunch of crap. I'll, I'll save, I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much. Maybe I'll. Just 
just take three with me or something. And drop everything else. Drop the bullwhip. Little brilliance. Ten uncursed clear potions. And the tinning kit. And now we're unencumbered. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable loadout. Alright, so let's um head on down. Ooh. Baby red dragon. That's really rare, actually. Probably a chameleon, to be honest. Uh, which is... Could be dangerous. Um, we'll see if it turns into something else. In... I was noticing in Slashem... How common... Uh, baby dragons are. And it, in contrast... Yeah, so it's it was a chameleon. They're very rare in, in NetHack. I don't know that they spawn naturally. I think only uh, they come from eggs, as far as I know. Oh, this is a peaceful great unicorn. I could throw a gem at it. I don't know what my luck is at currently, but maybe like the obsidian stone would be worthwhile just to get the plus luck. I would need to get go invisible though, I think. No, I can catch up to it. Here, I'll throw one out of it. There you go. Some luck. All right, we'll go back to the general store. I have a little bit more money now and some stuff to sell. We'll eat uh, food ration here. All right. Um, I guess I'll buy that food as well. Definitely want that scroll. Oh, uh, a 300 cost ring is pretty good too, but we don't have that much money. If I drop this garnet, it's only 350. So now I have 664. Not enough to get both the ring and the scroll. I think the scroll is more important. I'll buy the fortune cookie too. That's probably enough. All egg-laying creatures in NetHack te technically reproduce asexually. Does that mean your children are all clones of you? I guess so. It just makes me think of uh, Dwarf Fortress, where um, I think the developers said that creatures reproduce by spores. Let's put that scroll away before. So as long as there's another uh, creature on the same level. Yeah, but you, if you're a, it's like, you don't even need to, to wait. If you polymorph yourself into a dragon and you're, you're female, you can start laying eggs right away. So there really is no, no need for the opposite sex in this game. So, yeah, I think you would be technically your, your offspring would be uh perfect clones of you. All right. Rust monster. So I'm going to take off the hard shoes, the helm. Everything else should be safe. And then I'm going to wield, uh, I'm just going to punch this thing to death. Do I want to enhance my bare handed combat? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to waste our points on that. Just waiting for the soldier to come and start messing with us while we're 
week here. Okay. Gargoyle over there. Do I don't think I actually have a stash here, do I? Tiger, and this is a, a wolf. That's probably worth another zap the wand of slow monster. There's no stash here anymore. All right, so there's my altar. All right, so here's all those elf lords. Um, I care about the rune daggers, not really. I'm just gonna go over here so that they can't fire arrows at me. That one's invisible, so maybe um, a wand. Yeah, wand to make invisible. The leather hat from a spellcaster might be interesting. At least see if it's um, enchanted. I might want this box, actually. Let's take this box. Drop it right here. Oop, that was not the right thing. Another leather hat. We'll take a look at that too. Um, one more elf lord over there. Field leather hats here to check out. I'm going to drop the box. Okay, so we're altar camping here for a little bit. See if we can't get a decent weapon. Um, the cat wants to get down. So I could eat this or I could offer it. I already have shock resistance, but I think that might be able to give you fire or colds as well. Let's take a quick look. Gelatinous cube. Um, 10% cold, 10% fire, so definitely worth eating. I'm going to eat this instead of sacrificing it. Ah, hot air, there we go. So I'm cold resistant. I'm naming my key. That's very nice. So double-headed bat axe, this is actually pretty nasty. Um, 45, 46. Other looting. 
Oh. It has a, a wand of create monster. That's not great. Um, it's probably pretty low on HP because they use those escape items when they're when they're hurt. So I probably can kill it. Uh, zapped again. All right, did kill the ogre queen. Um, Elberth probably. Oh, Elberth won't work on the gray elves anyway. What I will do is I will zap myself with speed monster. Get very fast for a minute here. Hopefully that gray elf doesn't pick up that wand of create monster. Keep an eye on my HP here. Oh, we need a better weapon badly. I'm just gonna step on here just to pick up that wand of create monster so it doesn't get used by these elves and then we'll keep fighting. We're okay here. I don't think they have weapons. Is one of the things that's good here. Down to 32, though. All right, we well, were able to kill them. Let's offer the things that are on here. Yeah, we'll just sacrifice Grey Elf and we get Vorpal Blade. So that's a weapon. Um, not the best weapon in the whole world, but uh, it is a weapon. And we can start to increase our um, longsword skill. Anything else here? Yeah, or Ogre Queen. And pick up everything. Right, the... Annoyingly, the ogre took everything out of the box there. I guess I have to just lock it. For the Hobbit. I think the rest of this can go into the bo the box. Actually, the Wanda Create Monster is useful for what we're doing right now. lock this box and it's not cursed wait I didn't mean to put this stuff into my sack I could definitely um, go through the rest of the game with uh, Vorpal Blade if, if I need to. Because I should probably have uh, waited to heal up a little bit before I started to alter camp again. There we go. Vorpal Blade beheads the gargoyle. Reconciliation. So we can safely pray now. Wait for a little bit. All right, so we're slowing down. Comes a scorpion. Ah, oh, there we go. So now we're up to basic in a uh, longsword. All right, getting some luck too. So that's good. All right, full health. Let's go and use that wand to create monster now. A uh, bunch of cave spiders. 
It shouldn't be too hard to kill. Uh, some worthless stuff. I don't know what the violet gem is. There is a black unicorn we would like to bring. come over here, actually. So we can sacrifice it. All right, so we're weak. So let's go ahead and take out those clear potions and we'll pray. I think cursed we want to take out? No. All right, feeling good health again. So we're back up to 17 strength, which is great. We have holy water. I guess I could dip my unicorn horn and my luck stone. I'll save one to turn everything else back in my stash into holy water. Um, all right, let's use our wand to create monster until it runs out. Where we're at, we're not going to be able to sacrifice that. Decapitates the de decapitates the goblin. Um, take me forever to get this unicorn back to the altar so we can do it before it gets too old to sacrifice uh, thoroughly on the right path nice Should carry this overlord. Extreme difficulty. Overtaxed. Reconciliation. All right. Going well. There's actually a bunch of stuff around. Uh, I think that. Giant Mimic may be keeping the gargoyle from getting to us. Let's go kill it. Mm -hmm. Somehow you missed the Giant Mimic wildly, so that's when you roll the um, beheading result, and it's a headless creature. Mimics uh, do not have a head, cannot be beheaded. My gold away. Let this giant come over here. What is this? This is a uh, elven queen. Wow. I guess we are dungeon level 15. So this is a little dangerous. I don't want to fight the gelatinous cube uh, next to the elven queen. They could definitely cause me issues. What I'll do is I will um, back up Make myself go faster. And then we'll fight the Elven Queen. Ooh, I think the um, Gelatinous Cube might be eating my chest, unfortunately. Ooh, now we're down to 36. Um, it's kind of dangerous. Elberth won't work on the Elven Queen. Um... Thank <laughs> you. 
There's a gargoyle coming too. I'm gonna get into a hallway is what I wanna do. Yes, yeah, so my chest is gone. Um, there's a gelatinous keeping keep in the way. This could be really bad. All right, so we're in the hallway at least. So we won't have to fight more than one at once. So using my wand of slow monster here. It's funny, it doesn't, it, it, sometimes it just doesn't say anything. I don't know if that's because because the probably the elven queen resisted it because I think they've got decent uh, decent magic resistance. Can I take this uh, this series of creatures? Probably should need to go heal. If I get lucky with Vorpal, play and I should be okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to the stairs and heal up, unfortunately. Problem about late altars like this, dungeon level 15 altars can be dangerous. Zayn is just annoying. Decapitated it. So go up here and you know, wait till you heal. We'll eat uh, eat some food. All right, healed up. Let's go take out these creatures. Decapitate. I'll pick this stuff up. Pickaxe. Um, okay. Alright, decapitated the Elven Queen. The glass orb, which is interesting. At least we can take it and polypile it. I find my box, though. All right, nice. Some lucky decapitations there. Uh, get my strength up to 18. I'm not gonna be able to, um, I'm not gonna be able to carry this stuff back to the altar, unfortunately, these, these, oh, there's a Zorn. Drop all this stuff here. All right, decapitated the Zorn. This is a very fun weapon. Um, all right, so there's all my stuff. The The box is, is done. Uh, it ate the box. So unfortunately, can't keep this uh, level tidy. The unicorn horn is really the only thing I care about. The other issue is that Creature's gonna come by and pick all this stuff up, but what can you do? And pick up that gelatinous cube corpse as well. Stressed. Uh, I don't think I'm able to get to the altar with it. Box is gone. I don't think we care about any of this actually. Put the gems into my bag, um, and we'll keep using our Wanda Great Monster here. See if we can't ah, Rust Monster. I think uh, Sacrifice Gifts are always Rust Proof, so it's just the helm and the hard shoes that I worry about. Let's Elberth which worked, and we'll take off the helm, we'll take off the hard shoes, and then I think I can kill these things with, uh... Oh, <laughs> Rust Monster's eating everything. Oh, uh, the Quasa has a teleportation wand, which we would like. I think there was an Ebony wand 
in that shop. So I uh, should probably go back and buy that at some point if I can remember. So I'd like to get fire, firebrand, frostbrand, um, it's basically it. I mean, verbal blade will, will work. Oh, this is peaceful. Oh, okay. So you got the the roll where we have tons of stuff here. There's a peaceful large cat I could tame. Sure, I'll throw a food ration or a tripe ration to that cat. All right, so um, something zapping a wand. Could Elberth here? What is this? This is a um, leather golem. The Zorn is really the, what's dangerous here. Ooh, actually. Yeah. Combination of the Zorn and the Lynx. Oh, I have my uh, helm and my hard shoes off. I didn't put them back on. Elberth will work here if I can do it successfully. I don't think I'll die in a single turn. Um, famous, famous last words. It did work. So the Zorn and the Lynx turned to flee, but there is an Elf Lord that will not flee. It's even displaced by a large cat. Oh, wow. There's three Elf Lords here. Um, I gotta look at prayer here. I think it's a one out of seven. Major problem. Major problems are dependent on your level. So let's see, max HP. Uh, we are XP level 6 through 13, so it's 1 6th is considered critically low. So 1 6th of 88 is, uh, is 14.6, so we are critically low. So uh, prayer should work here. And we, we yeah, we, we have been sacrificing stuff. And we haven't gotten a gift recently. So I think prayer will just work here. Uh, let's try it. Nice. Did work. Cool. All right. So that's saved us. Let's get to the hallway. Wow. Uh, and I'm going to throw my, my armor on here quickly. That's a kit. Peaceful kitten. And we'll start fighting the stuff in the hall. Yes, yeah, so that was a uh, dangerous, definitely one of the more dangerous situations we've been in for a while. We're in the Zorn, of course. He can't help the Zorn. Elberth again. Didn't work. Uh, did work that time. Let's get to the stairs. Actually, I will zap myself with Speed Monster again. It's pretty nasty, actually. I beheaded the Iron Piercer. Can I pick this up without getting burdened? Yeah.
I'm just trying to think if I should, uh, where I should fight these things. If I can kill Zorn, I can fight the rest of the elves in the hallway, which would be much better. They're not following me, which is good. Zorns are just pretty nasty. Alright, did kill the Zorn. Had a unicorn horn. And kick. I could fight them one at a time. Should be fine here. Also, I have my uh, cat helping me out here. Oh, that's a shocking sphere. Um, so we need to take off my rings and throw my rings and wands into my sack. And that should uh, prevent them from getting destroyed. There we go. The elf lords are still just all hanging out here. I don't know why that one is uh, paralyzed. I'll watch my HP carefully here. Uh, 22. Alright, killed that one. I don't know why that other elf is not moving. I guess we can um, use my thong club on it. I think I might have slowed that one down. Hard to tell. Alright, killed that elf lord. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and... Sacrifice it. Helpful feeling. Put some stuff into my bag here. Okay, uh, not loving how I said my cloak got burnt. I thought I had 14 AC. My cloak got burnt, so that, um, Maybe lose one. I don't know how I lost the other. I think a cat here is actually pretty bad in terms of uh, altar camping. It's going to eat all the corpses. Hopeful feeling. Our right, reconciliation, so we can safely pray. Oh, there's that one of teleportation. That's nice. It's probably empty. Seeing as uh, Quaz didn't use it. Presumably that's an owlbear. Yeah. Full health. Uh, 
All right. Uh, troll, green mold, and elven queen. Speed myself up here. okay with the cat eating the troll corpse or else it's gonna come back elven queens all right we're able to kill it the Albear. I don't know why it uh, can't make it all the way over here. We're at full health, so. Alright, so that's empty. I should just go ahead and poly, poly pile these um, unicorn horns in this glass orb. It's somewhat unlikely that I'm going to get anything out of them, but rather than carrying them around, maybe I just want to zap them. I did not want you to pick that up, kitty. drop it that's yeah, right there all right let's see if this works uh whistle is that a tin uh, tin whistle no it's a magic whistle it makes having a pet more interesting and i did get a match marker so that's great i, th I don't remember if that changed um I've been when i was playing variants in june Uh, magic markers, polypiled magic markers, I think, have are like charged once. First try, yeah. I, I don't mind the uh, magic whistle either, but the magic markers are really what you want. I think they're charged once when they when you polypile them. Kind of forget if that's vanilla or not. Let's eat this uh, fortune cookie. Do a reflection so I just kill this uh, floating eye. We'll kill this leprechaun too. It's funny. You actually found the secret passageway that let that leprechaun get away. So getting luck. Oh, this is another shocking sphere. Um, put stuff in the bag. Wow. Cat ate the forest center corpse. I kind of want to eat that. I'll eat this uh, food ration. Might just have to live with Vorpal. It's not like Vorpal Blade is terrible. 
it's just its damage output is uh, not great. Ochre jelly. Um, do a lot of damage to me, but at least I have a rust proof weapon. Alright, was able to kill it. All right, I'm tempted to head back to my stash. I'm trying to ID some things. I mean, one thing I could do is after I get decent armor, I could just get a silver saber and dual wield Vorpal Blade and a Silver Saber, which should be, that should make up the difference for the damage, which I need. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, all right, so we're just, he we're headed out of here. Gonna go back to the stash and uh, see if we can't get a full ID on a bunch of stuff. So I'll take my kitty with me. Yeah, we're running out of food too, so we can't uh, dilly dally too long. Um, Back to level seven. Do have some more gold here. Not enough to get that uh, three hundred cost ring, but. I think I'll leave my cat away from the stash so that they don't mess my stuff up. Um, sort of emeralds and amethyst stones. So that's good. Kind of, uh, I can uncurse the crystals of ID. Maybe the thing to do is to bless one of the these sixty eighty scrolls and uh, read them. If they're remove curse, then and just uncurse a bunch of stuff. Um, cursed apple. Curse 300 scroll might be good if it's genocide. So I want to leave that cursed. <laughs> All 
Okay, so we're going to turn one holy water into ten. And then we're going to bless us some 60, 80 scrolls here. I'll do the four first. Um, I feel like I should ID Warple Blade before I read it, but I mean, what is the chance I'm going to blow, blow up Warple Blade? I mean, there is a chance, but I should take off my plus four stuff. And um, actually, I should just take off everything I don't want to enchant. That should be fine. All right, let's read these. All right, so that, that's enchant armor. Um, yeah, cloak of magic resistance is good. Cloak gloves of dexterity are good to to um, enchant. So I think I'll just keep reading on them. I'll read all of them. I'll save one for um, training scales and dragon scales. Uh, take off this. Oh, nope. Uh, take off this. I'll read one more. All right, so my Hawaiian shirt's plus two. Nice. All right, so I'm down to negative 18 AC, which is nice. Put this one scroll away and save it for training scales into dragon scale armor. Um, I think I will dip these other two scrolls just in case it's removed curse. If it's uh, enchant armor, and hopefully I won't destroy my vorpal, vorpal blade. I could always wield the thong club, but I'd rather enchant vorpal vorpy. All right, so that was remove curse and it auto ID'd, which is nice. So I could use me with four uh, Anchor Scrolls of ID, which I can bless. And then I'll just pick up everything I want to ID to uh, identify. Let's see what, I, what can I what can I pick up here? I think that's good enough. Uh, see if we can get a full ID here. Do I have an orange potion? No, pick up orange potions. All right, let's see if we get lucky. I really only have the, I guess I really only have two base cost 300 scrolls. 
Hey, I think we got a full ID first try. Beautiful. And there's a giant beetle here. All right, so what do we have? Uh, magical breathing is interesting. Oh, the the, the uh, thumb club, I've been complaining about the whole time. It's been plus two this whole time. Chins aren't of anything interesting. Let's get rid of them. Um, we do have charging. That's good. It's the cursed one, but we, we've identified it, which is most important. Cold detection, people will eventually be useful. Magic mapping is useful. Uh, unfortunately, the other base cost, 300, was punishment, which isn't very useful. Taming, taming is is very interesting. All right, so charm monster, detect monsters. Uh, detect monsters is good as an archaeologist. I think that's definitely one we want to read. And magic missile is interesting. I don't think we can enhance... Um... Oh, actually, we can get attack spells. So that, that one is good, too. We're going to bless the potion and gain level. Uh, so that will help us get to level 14 for the quest. Potions of levitation might be useful for, like, the Medusa level. All right, rings. Regeneration, polymorph, um, shock resistance. That's really good. And uh, other ones aren't so useful. The magic marker is one. 64 so um get 64 charges of the magic marker pretty good still have no bag of holding so we're gonna drop a bunch of this stuff um i may polypile at some point in fact i could do it right now i have uh two more charges from polymorph and i have Obviously, the amulets I could polypile. Let's drop a bunch of stuff right now. Um, the tins I don't care about. I could polypile scrolls, but I don't really have that many. I think I want to keep them for paper for now. Um, the scrolls of identifier are good for polypiling. I don't think I'll just polypile spell books. Let me just take a quick look. Detect monsters and magic missile. I think they're both level three. All right, Detect Monster is level one, so we can just read that pretty safely. And uh, Magic Missile, I think, is three. Two. Um, so we're pretty smart. I'm not going to read both of those. We can get rid of our... Uh, get rid of our gold. And, uh, and read them. I'll leave the gain level here. Basically, all these other potions can stay here. I will polypile, um, basically these rings, I'll polypile. That's an empty wand, I can get rid of that. Anything else to polypile? Magic armor, like a helm of brilliance, I can polypile. Definitely the cloak of invisibility. Don't think I need that. Helm of Brilliance is technically decent for, like, spellcasting. I'm going to be, like, an okay spellcaster eventually. Problem with archaeologists, or basically any non-wizard, is your power um, is very low. Like, 67 power is just not enough to cast spells. I do have eight uncursed, unlabeled scrolls, which I could bless and polypile. Blessed scrolls have a decent chance of not mulching, or whatever the word is, uh, shuddering. If 
I also I also just need unlabeled scrolls as well. It might be re reasonable to to just waste or use the eight to maybe turn them into decent stuff. Uh, Ring of Invisibility, I can polypile that. And there's uni Unicorn Horn, I can also polypile that. All right, uh, that gives me some stuff to to mess around with. Uh, so I'll, I'll just do it over on, on this side. All right, so we'll start with a couple rings. I think, um, so my strength is 18 and constitution is 18. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna wear shock resistance uh, for a while anyway. So which is more important, two constitution or three strength? I think the two constitution is more important, uh, just for the hit points that I'm gonna gain. So I think I take off the con, and I poly pilot. No, sorry, the strength rather. Uh, it does bring me down to strength fifteen, so I don't get. Uh, the two hit and damage bonus that I get from strength 18, but I'm going to get to 18 eventually anyway. So um, I think it's fine. All right, so uh, dropping some stuff here. I'll drop um, see invisible and invisibility. I don't think I'll ever use those to be to be fair i mean ring invisibility is pretty good defensively not sure let will do aggravate monster uh this cloak visibility isn't going to be better than magic resistance that can go uh, let's go ahead and wear or put on shock resistance gonna wear that for a while. All right, regeneration. I'm going to keep. That's very good. I could keep polymorph. If I get polymorph control, that could be useful. I don't usually do poly self strats though. So we're going to polymorph the gain strength and the stealth. Uh, I have. I have stealth. All right. I, what I need to do here is uh, take out one. Blessed Holy Water, and we'll dip these eight unlabeled scrolls into it. And I'll drop, like, say, two uh, scrolls in each pile. Actually, should I do one? I should probably do one, right? Actually, don't really know how that works. All right, and my amulets I need to, I don't think I need ESP. Uh, I'll always be wearing reflection and then eventually life-saving. And um, one blessed scroll. Um, sustainability is useful uh, as a defense against mind flares. I think I can get rid of warning. I guess uh, I'll go to Polymorph 2. Oh, uh, do a scroll there, okay. All right, Magical Breathing. I think I will polypile that. I'll polypile Unlabeled Scroll. And... Yeah, sustainability and, and Invisibility. We're just trying to get things like Conflict and Reaction. Things that we will use one of our two ring slots for. Protection, maybe. Oh, this unicorn horn. Yeah, we'll drop that too. Um actually let's let's uh pick up the unicorn horn. Let's put the unicorn horn here with along with another unlabeled scroll. Okay. Let's see if we get anything good here. Got two charges. Auto pick up off. Scroll called Earth, the figurine of a plane centaur. It's still magical. Uh, there's a Etten zombie here. I think I can take it. 
I should have negative 18 AC, so. Oh, might be headed it anyway. All right, so we're not going to pick up any either of those things. We have a couple of rings we need to ID. Um, granite as well. Scroll of Identify is interesting. It is blessed. I think it will pick it up because it, um, it'll help me to identify all these rings and things. I'll drop one more unlabeled scroll. Another silver ring. Uh, and a twisted ring. Two more twisted rings. I don't need those. I'll take this scroll. Let's read the... Wait, where's that scroll? Oh, I, I guess I, I stacked it. Yeah, so I'll read uh, the blessed scrolls to identify. Enchant weapon, nice. So that's that's really useful. And uh, we'll start seeing what these rings are. Increased damage, we can drop that. I guess I'll read one more. Blessed scroll to identify. Okay, we got the rest of them. So we do have protection. It's kind of a tough one. Protection for the magic cancellation is good. Ring of Levitation is very important. You want to hang on to that for sure. Um, protection over plus two gain constitution. I'm just not really sure. Maybe once we get to XP level 14, I switch out the gain constitution for protection. So hang on to these, these three. Adornment can, can be uh, polypiled. Two more rings of protection here. I could actually um, try these on. I don't think anything is cursed, so. So uh, they're all plus one or worse, so. We'll go ahead and polypile the rest of them. All right, one more charge here oh. of uh, poly polymorph. All right, diamond ring. Interesting scroll we haven't identified yet. A magic, mar magic marker, nice. So we're two for uh, two, or two for three game magic markers. Ring of gain strength. Let's pick all this stuff up at this point. Another enchant armor, magic, uh, blessed enchant armor. Uh, amulet we haven't ID'd as well. And, uh, scroll of 300, so that could be genocide if we're lucky. In fact, I think we've already found punishment. It could be... Um, I think it could be Stinking Cloud, though. We don't need the Split Mail. Um, all right, so let's uh, read another ID. That potion gain level is uh, not uh, BC tested. All right, uh, we want to, the scroll is most important. It is just Stinking Cloud, unfortunately. The amulets I'm kind of interested in. Oh, it is life-saving, nice. So we got two life-saving out of that polypile, so that's great. As soon as we can get another source of reflection, um, say like a shield of reflection or silver dragon scales, that's gonna be great. Um, 200 cost scrolls are not super interesting. I think we've already ID Taming and Earth, so it's probably something that we're just not very interested in. So let's check out this diamond ring. That's poison resistance, don't need it. And uh, the match marker I'm, I'm interested in, let's figure out this ivory ring though, searching, okay. So, um, drop all this stuff. We're not gonna carry life saving with us. Although I do find Medusa has the shield of reflection. I could just switch it out at that point. So maybe we actually do carry it. Oh, a scroll scare monster. I'm going to put that in my bag and try and remember not to. Um, I'm going to try and remember not to drop it. We'll use the enchant weapon, use the enchant armor. 
Um, drop stinking cloud. Aggravate monster, gain strength. Those can all go. Poison resistance, searching. Don't need to carry any of those with me. Sustainability, warning. Polymorph. Okay, pretty good. All right, so let's read a couple things here. I need to take off small shield, take off magic resistance, uh, take off the elven mithril, take off the iron shoes, take off the helm of telepathy just because I'm not sure that's long term something I want. I could switch out to the helm of brilliance, but I'm going to hang off, uh, hang on to the telepathy for now because I think it is pretty useful. I still read the enchant armor. My Hawaiian shirt's up to plus four. And we are wielding corporal blades. So I'll read the chant weapon. Uh, it gets up to plus three. Very nice. And I'll put these scrolls away. And I'll put these magic markers away as well, and we're going to read these spell books, which I think should be okay with my intelligence of 16 and my XP level. I think we should be able to read level 1 and level 2 spell books pretty safely. Let's give it a try. Amulets can go away. It's a lizard. Okay, so we learned to detect monster. Currently, 100% uh, failure. I'll have to switch out our Elven Mithril and, and probably uh, our our Helm as well to, to get better. If I take off my Helm, yeah, it's still 100%. Still so I think I have to, to take off my uh, Elven Mithril. Let's read the Magic Missile. This is going to be harder. Okay, so both of them are fine. Drop them. If we get like silver dragon scales or something, then we'll be fine to start learning some spells. Um, this silver spell book, I think I'm going to drop. I should have, um, I should have ID'd it. Take out my magic whistle, my towel, my unicorn horn, my lantern, and my key. All right. Um, definitely doing better here. AC's gotten better. I have a you know an okay weapon. I'd say better than okay. I'd say it's a pretty decent weapon. I'll take a magic mapping with me. Just in case I go down to the maze levels um, between Medusa and the castle. Taming I'll take as well. As long as I can, I can, uh, as long as I can carry these without being burdened, I kind of want to take a pickaxe too. That's going to be difficult. Oh, yeah, it's going to make me burdened. Um, what else do I have here? I could drop one amulet. Amulets are pretty, pretty heavy. I guess I'll drop, um, I, don't, I don't know if I need, I definitely don't need Stinking Cloud. I probably should have polypiled that. Actually, it's not blessed, that's why I didn't do it. Um, let's get rid of the Uncursed. Identify as well. I do want to BUC, BUC test the gain level. <laughs> Make invisible, I don't need that.
All right, we are unencumbered, although we're probably pretty close to being encumbered. Um, I, I don't think I need anything else from this pile. I need the food. That's the unfortunate part. I don't think I have any food to speak of. I have one food ration left. We're gonna make our way down to the castle next. We're gonna need some food. Might be the pickaxes is just not gonna not gonna fly. I guess I don't need all this holy water. Let's drop a few of them. Um, can I carry this food now? Actually, I can. Okay. All right, um, good. I should probably take some blank paper. This cursed scroll of charging. And I'll, I'll come back up to my stash uh, once I get the wand of wishing. I can deal with all this when I after when I do that. I think that's fine. All right, I think we're ready to uh, set off again here. Um, negative twenty AC. Could be worse. I hate to, this is sort of a shorter stream, but I am feeling a bit tired. So I think rather than pushing on and possibly making some mistakes and killing off his character prematurely, I think I'm going to stop for the night. Uh, but I should be able to stream again, maybe for a little bit longer uh, next week. We'll see. Um, I'm going to keep this up. And uh, this character is going pretty well. I think, you know, it's not, definitely not a one run, only having 88 HP uh, and uh, Warple Blade. I think we're still a little bit uh, squishy, but certainly compared to a Valkyrie. I think a, a few items, a few a few things, uh, some Silver Dragon Scale Mail, uh, maybe like a, a Silver Saber, and uh, suddenly I think we'll be we'll be we'll be cooking and, and ready to to move on to the end game. So. Uh, I'll hopefully I'll see you next week and uh, everyone have a good night. Talk to you then.